a lot of my earliest memories are of watching The Simpsons. Um, so being able to be a part of the show has been so spectacular and fulfilling and it really does feel like an honor. Johnny is so much, obviously has his finger kind of so much more on the pulse of like uh, gay culture and together started searching for an area for Smithers to date. We thought, well, it'd be really fun to like push him into a relationship with an interesting, very successful guy and see what happens with that. So often gay romances are a subplot or alluded to or shown in some kind of montage or as a punchline. And what I think I was really excited about with this episode is we get to see the beginning, middle, and who knows how it ends of a gay relationship. Really getting into the nitty gritty of like how gay people date, how they meet, how they're not stereotypes, they're humans. To explore that felt really special. There was a story we wanted to tell, and I think we told it in, in a way that is, it takes center stage. Richter Garber was my number one choice. I just adore him and, and so bowled away by his talent and everything he does. I think it's uh, crucially uh, important that these stories are acknowledged. I haven't played a lot of gay characters, but, but every time I do, it brings back certain feelings I had as a young actor where I couldn't be gay. It was kind of a, a reminder of how much things have changed um, and also uh, how I've evolved in my journey to find self-acceptance and self-love. That was a, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a definite significant uh, part of it. There's so many episodes out there and there are several that are about Smithers and Burns' relationship and the way they feel about each other. I think something that's special about this is that that's obviously a large component of the episode, but the story really is about Smithers and his own demons alongside, but also separate from Mr. Burns. There's a loneliness that comes with being gay sometimes. And this episode at its core is about being like gay and single what you're willing to compromise in, in the hopes of finding someone who's wonderful. One of the incredible, great joys of being a parent of, of talented kids is you get to exploit them for your own gain later in life. And so that's exactly how I've, mm -hmm. I've done it. I know my dad is a comedy writer. I grew up with him, obviously. I know he's a funny guy, but actually getting to sit down and write jokes with him was so much fun. And there were some moments where I was like, dad, that's disgusting. We can't put that on television, which I didn't expect to be saying because I'm usually the disgusting one. We now have this piece of content that we put into the world together. That is a combined brain power of the two of us. Being able to work with Johnny on this was such a dream and to see how truly funny and talented he is was just super fun and rewarding.